Hi, I'm Jim Sims from Glick Fire Equipment. I'm here at Pierce Manufacturing today with Bellevue Fire Department, which is a suburb of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, they actually border uh, the city of Pittsburgh. We're a combination department. We have paid and volunteer. Respond to probably about 400 calls a year. Do a lot of mutual aid. We have a lot of older buildings that require uh, the, the ladder truck we're getting from Pierce. We work with engineering to help develop a special vehicle for them because their fire station was built in the early 20s. We have a, uh, an older fire station, so we have uh, length requirements as well as height requirements, and Pierce was able to build us a uh, truck that will fit in our garage. Uh, they purchased a 100-foot uh, mid-mount ladder on an Aero XT, and we were able to get the truck down to about 43 feet and an overall height of 9 foot 10. We had five bidders, five different vendors come in and uh, bid on the truck and uh, we chose Pierce because we felt that the, uh, the company, the truck would do what we needed to do. We're on a two-day pre-construction visit. Uh, we started yesterday. Our sales rep met us at the airport, picked us up, um, and brought us right to the plant, which was great, and we got things started as soon as we got here. We have uh, initially started going through the component list. And the salesman explains everything to you, shows it to you, what you're getting, how you're getting it. Uh, if you have any questions, he answers them. And after working for uh, some period of time, uh, we went out into the factory and we started looking at various options. We've made several trips, uh, numerous trips, out into the plant to uh, you know, look at uh, things and get different ideas. And we've actually picked up ideas we didn't know we were going to get when we got here to add new equipment to our truck that will work better in the long run. Everything from uh, the, the cab uh, to instrument panel layouts to uh, tires. Um, special shelving, trays, um, almost every option that they thought they wanted to buy or, the, or they saw or they, they expect in their truck we were able to find while we are out in the factory. We knew uh, for the most part what we wanted, um, but if we have a question, what's great about coming here is you're, you're sitting down going over the entire spec with your, your salesperson. If you have a question on anything, they have engineering people, they have the graphics people, um, they have a hundred some trucks here, you can go out and get ideas uh, constantly. They had some uh, discussion among themselves, among the committee, about the color of their ladder. Dark silver, light silver. We went over to graphics to go over the striping and the lettering. Uh, they have so many ideas that we thought we had a lot of good ideas and uh, we did, but they had a whole bunch more good ideas that uh, worked out really well. Uh, so the graphic advisor was able to bring up different ladders that we've sold. They were looked at uh, different pictures. Plus their experience, um, some of the things we did uh, we're talking about doing, they liked the ideas, but they could tell us how they would work better. And as luck would have it, when we left graphics, we went outside, we actually signed the, found the vehicle with the particular silver on a ladder device. So they saw the ladder and they decided on the color. We've made many, many changes uh, from our spec to where we're at now. Um, I, when I say many uh, changes, it's small changes. Uh, attention to detail things that uh, we overlooked that they were able to point out to us. What happens now is I will make the changes to the order. I will meet with their committee at their fire station. We will review all the changes that we made today or the last two days. We will review the drawing that I have marked up with the new options or the changes that were made. Um, everything will be signed off from their instrument panel layout to their approval drawing to their lettering striping drawing. That will be turned in back to sales here at Pierce to continue process in the order. They plan to come back about a month before delivery to do a, it's called a post paint or a construction review, just to check on the uh, developments of the process of the truck. I'm anxious to get back and look at them when we come back at the midway inspection to you know, see where they're at, see how the changes we, we made uh, apply uh, to our truck and it, it should be a, a very interesting process which will get us excited for the next step when we come back out here on the Blue Four to take delivery of our truck. The real purpose of the pre-construction trip is that we don't want any surprises. I mean the customer doesn't want a surprise when they come here on their final inspection. I as a salesman don't want a surprise when they come on its final inspection and nor does Pierce Manufacturing. We want to ensure that when they come on their final delivery in the six, seven month period that we meet every expectation they have of a new, of a new Pierce. They raised the bar on what to expect now, I can tell you that, because they've, uh, they've come through so greatly, for lack of a better term, has way exceeded our expectations for this, so, which just raises the, the expectations when I come back. And from what I'm looking at, I'm not going to be disappointed. We want to make sure that the truck that they have in their mind when they leave here after pre-construction is the truck that they see when they come back to do final, final delivery.